Hello guys, my name is Arsalan. Welcome back to my channel. And today we are going to solve a new lead code question that is determine color of a chessboard square. We will be solving this question with the help of Python. The question says you are given coordinates, a string that represents the coordinates of a square of the chessboard. Below is the chessboard for your reference. Return true if the square is white and false if the square is black. <coughs> so we have to return a uh, boolean value. Corresponding value with the white is uh, true and for black is false. So the coordinate will always the coordinate will always represent a valid square board chessboard is uh, chessboard is square. The coordinate will always have the letter first and the number second. Okay, <coughs> so we will be given a string. For example, in question number one, for example number one, uh, for example we will be have given a string and and we will be always given a string. A, a character followed by a number and we have to determine whether it's a black one or a white square so if it's a black then we have to return false if it's white we have to return true <coughs> so how are we gonna follow how we are gonna solve this question what will be our approach I will tell it to you so just before starting solving this question guys do subscribe to the channel hit the like button press the bell icon button and bookmark the playlist so that you can get the updates from the channel <coughs> so let's start so <coughs> i will say that a c uh, a c e and first of all i will target these four so why i am targeting these four so i will i am explaining it to you that uh, you see that uh, on a c E and G they have all the means they if you see on a2 a4 a6 and a8 c2 c4 c6 c8 e2 e4 e6 e8 g2 g4 g6 g8 are all white so we will return white uh, we will return true for these so let's do that and return true for this and else we will return false for these four values how we are going to target this i will say that if coordinates i sorry coordinate zero so uh, they are all saying the, uh, the coordinate always start with the letter first so we will target letter first so we can use this here because it will always start with a letter so if i say that if a letter is a or a letter is these let's copy this to save our time copy and paste it four times or 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 <coughs> so let's change this to c change this to e and change this to g so we have targeted are these four values now we will say that again a nested if and if else condition here that if coordinates so the second condition they are saying here is that it will be always the number second so we can target a number here <coughs> coordinate one and we will say that mod two is equal to zero because see these are all two multiple of two two four six eight are all multiple of two so if we can uh, use this for so we have to use it as an integer because it will not divide if it's a string so we have to convert this only thing here that is our <coughs> coordinate one into integer into integer so that we can see the modulus of two that it's been even or not if it's even then return true <coughs> else return false <coughs> So now we have targeted our, our four the four of these values so i will say that uh, other the other than these values will be our else value so instead of this i will be targeting which values b d f h so b d e f h would be if i will write the same condition here that if int int coordinates uh, coordinates again one uh is divisible by two means if it's a uh, 
divisible by two means this value h d f h so b2 d2 f2 h2 and so on <coughs> i will say that return false just the opposite of that and else return true so that's that's all in the question hope you have understood it let's run the code and check the validity of our answer so we have got our answer here thank you guys for watching the video if you have any doubt ask in the comment section